In question 19 we're given a Venn diagram that shows elements of A, B and the, the complete set Epsilon. We're told to write down the elements in A dash and what that means is not in A. So we can see that A is essentially encapsulated with everything here. So the elements that are not in A is essentially everything else. Um, and we can see that that is 5, 6, 1, 7 and 4. And it's common practice just to write that in order, so the answer therefore would be 1, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's all the numbers that are not in A. In part B we're asked to find um, the, the numbers, N, that are, so the first bit, A intersection B, the dash replies not. So thinking through that, the intersection of A and B, well there's A, there's B, the intersection of A and B is this, and the things that are not in that is again all of this and all of this here. So again, essentially it's all those numbers that we uh, that we see there. But the N over here, it's, oh sorry, the N over here is essentially denoting the number of, um, the number that is in that. So what it's saying is it doesn't want you to list the numbers, it wants to know how many. So in the top it said write down the elements, or in C it says find the elements. Here it's saying find the number of, essentially. So again, A intersection B is here, the things that are not in there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's 8 things which are in the set that is not part of the intersection of A and B. So again, that N symbol denotes the intersection. In part C then, we're asked to find the elements in A intersection B and the union of that with what is not in A union B. Now that's a lot to get your head around, so let's just take it one step at a time. Let's look at the first bit, A intersection B. So what is in, in A intersection B? Well we know that from the previous question, it's 8 and 9. What is A union B? So that's when you join two things together. It's not where they overlap, it's just the two things together. So A union B is essentially everything that is encapsulated within A and B. So there's A, there's B. Everything within that is all of these, but the dash implies not. So basically everything that's not within those two, which is 1, 7, 4. So again, A not A union B is 1, 7, 4. And then it's asking us for the elements that are in the union of those two things, i.e. both of those two things together. So again, very simply, that is just those numbers there. So in order, that's 1, 4, 7, 8, and 9. Now in part C, oh, sorry, part D, we're told a number of things. So the first thing we're told is that A intersection C is the null set. So what that means is A does not intersect with C. B union C gives us the numbers 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we know that there's the number of elements in C is 3. And they, they want us to write down what those elements are. So the most important bit of information, I think, is actually the middle bit there. B union C. So what we know is that B, wherever this C is, B's union with C will give the numbers 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, what we know is that B already contains 5, 6, sorry, 5, 6, 8, and 9. What it doesn't contain is the 7. So that gives us some idea that this set C may actually contain 7. We know there's three numbers in there, and we know that once B combines with C, it will also have in there 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, C cannot intersect with A because A's intersection with C is the null set. It means that it does not intersect. So what that means is, therefore, that C must therefore come like that.
and it shouldn't include that 1, by the way. So if we think now, B's union with C, when we include all the things that B and C combine together to make, well, C has got 5, 6, 7. B has also got the 5 and 6, but has also got 8 and 9. So it gives us 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And let's see if that's right. That's exactly what we need, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Does A intersect with C? Nope. Does C have three elements in there? C contains seven, five, 5, 6, and 7. Yes, it does. So what that therefore tells us, that the elements actually in C are 5, 6, and 7. 